jogging, all right? And it's mildly short, which means that it's coughing. What I need to do is to just say, Mr. David, can you cough? Cough more. So I'm going to try to cough, and then I'll get that sign before it even goes in. <laughs> so, we will just get the tap is back so that he can cough up whatever is there. Right? Encourage him to cough until, because the idea is there's something going in the wrong direction. He wants it to come out. That's his mouth stroking. Okay? But what happened? Like I told you to call my name earlier on, you couldn't call my name. When I said don't breathe and call my name, it's not possible. What you will see in somebody who is severely choked is they cannot talk because it means that something is blocking their airways. So they can't talk, right? What you see them do is they'll be giving signs. They can't talk. Time is of the essence in this case. There are two things you can do. So you make them lean forward, lean forward like this, okay? So you know that ego part that I talked about earlier on? You make the fist and put the fist in there like that. This is this is the chest, this is the dimple. So I put my hand here, okay? And then you will then jack them. But you know, one, sorry, you do you do this one, one, and two. So once you do one, you check whether the you know they've expelled whatever is there. I'll show you. So you do it's called abdominal thrust, endless maneuver. So you do, you jack one, you check whether there's anything coming out. Okay, if there's anything there that you can just use the force up and take it out. You do it again. You do that five times, right? And see whether they expel whatever is there. The idea is when you do that, I don't want to do it hard because it's very painful. So when you jack it in, you're trying to compress the lungs push that thing out. Do you understand? That's what you're doing. Now, if you do that, it doesn't, I mean, does not help. You rotate, you roll them. Between, this is the scapula. In between, the scapula is this and this. Again, this scapula. So you then put your hand there, and then lean them forward, and then hit the back. You hit it hard, so that you're, you're trying to compress the lungs. You understand? That you're helping them to cough. So you bang it, and then look. You bang it again and look, right? So you do that five times again. If they are not expelled, you come back again five. One, two, three, four, five. When you do that, you come back again. One, two. So you continue to rotate it that way until they expel. But guess what? It's not all the time they expel. You might be doing that and they do not expel and then they collapse in your hands. What will you do? In that case. If they collapse, huh? you start what? Basic life support. You lay them down and then you start chest compression like we did the other time. But this time around, don't forget that when you're doing the chest compression, you're also compressing the lungs. They might expel. You take, you take that thing out. You understand? So it might be difficult for you to not do mouth to mouth because if you do mouth to mouth, you might push that thing in backward. You understand? So, but by the time you do the chest compression, they might expel that thing, which is what usually happens. Thank you, sir.